thought for the day. Self-awareness doesn't keep you from making mistakes. It allows you to learn from them. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. On today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we explore how identifying our individual purposes and becoming self-aware can lead to an extraordinary and very fulfilling life. Have a listen. The first way to get focus is to find purpose. The way to find purpose is you must identify what it is that you have to be purposeful in. When you are struggling with what to do, who you are, what's your next move, you are in an identity crisis. You are struggling with just who you are. See, you have not discovered who you are. You have to discover who you are in order to move you forward. When you get up and you get up in the morning, you go get in the car or you walk out your door, you have a destination in mind. If you go outside with no destination, what do you do? You just, you wander around. Once you don't have a destination, you are going to wander around. You cannot get in your car without a destination. Where did you, what do you drive? So you are in an identity crisis, the same thing I was in. So you have to find your purpose. If you are in this situation, the solution is the first thing. You have to do the thing that God gave you. You just have to identify your gift. You'll never find your purpose. You'll never know your mission. You'll never know the reason. So I think we're in identity crisis. I think you have to identify who you are and what your real gift is and pursue the gift. Your gift will make room for you, put you in the presence of great men. That's what your gift do. That's God. That ain't Steve. I'm telling you what God say. I've identified my gift. I'm in the joke telling business. Your gift is like a tree trunk. Your gift is the trunk of a tree. On a tree, it has many branches. Now, because my gift is comedy, that's my tree trunk. That's what I was made for, the gift. Your two things, your career is what you paid for. Your calling is what you made for. So God took this tree trunk and made a lot of branches. Comedy made me a movie, a TV star, a radio star, a, I can write books. But then what he made me for was to motivate people, to change people's lives by sending me through a process that was so hard for me to overcome. When somebody like you stands up and asks me a question, I know the answer without even thinking because I've been processed. Through all the things I've gone through in my life, I had a lot, of, a lot of downs. How did I keep the faith? It was a couple of reasons. Number one, I know from living that if you quit whatever you're trying to accomplish, if you quit whatever you were trying to accomplish can never happen. There's not even a remote possibility. If you quit there is no chance of it popping back up again, coming back later. Quitting is guaranteed failure. Now, when you're trying, you're going to fail. But quitting, just stopping, that was the number one thing I understood. And then number two, you have to make sure that your dreams, your aspirations and goals are so big that not accomplishing them is not an option. You have to want something so big that it wakes you up in the middle of the night. You have to want something so big that you think about it all the time. You have to want something so big that it drives you to wake up 
when you don't want to. It keeps you up at night when you long been sleepy. It makes you show up, do things you wouldn't normally do. It requires extra. If you want to be extraordinary and not ordinary, if you want to be ordinary, live your life. But if you want to be extraordinary, you have to be extra. If you put extra on top of ordinary, that word is extraordinary. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.